Welcome to the third video on building a social network with Go. This time, we will code how to follow users. I'll start by updating the database schema. We need a follows table with a reference to the user who starts the follow and the user target. I will use those two fields as primary key. I will also update the users table to keep count of followers and followees. You can say that these values can be calculated with a SQL query, but I prefer to have them there and avoid too complex queries. Also, I will create two sample users here to play with. This needs single quotes. That will do it. This function receives the name of the user you want to follow. The follower is the authenticated user. And it returns whether you are following him and his followers count. First, check for the auth user in the context. Now, we need to get the actual user ID from the username. For all this queries I'll use a transaction. One user cannot follow himself. Now, I will check if the auth user is already following this user. With that I can perform one of two actions. Follow or unfollow him. That is why this function is called toggle. In the first case, it deletes the follow and decrements both users' follows counts.
Be concentrate and not mess up these queries. They can be a little tricky. Mostly because follower and followee are similar. Now, in the other case, I will insert the follow and increment both user follows counts. That should do it. And remember to commit the transaction. In the response output, I will invert the following state. If the follow is done, we need to dispatch a notification to the user. I will keep a to-do reminder for now. Let's code the HTTP handler now. The username will be get from the URL path. Here. Speaking of username, I forgot to validate it. Done. Let's test it now. First, I will log in as John. And try to follow Jane. Oops. Bad path. Now it is working. As you see, it toggles the follow and forbids you from following yourself. That's all for this video. See you in the next.